hello everybody it is what is it thursday it's nearly four o'clock quarter to four and i'm a it's another day in another skate park oh, i've been to three skate parks today believe it or not but it's been quite a day now as you saw i have a very sad story to tell you okay i had to an appointment at ballon today with mr 12 he's getting braces on very soon which is going to cost a fortune so i've got to I have to start selling some mighty big stuff right but I decided to go up to see my favourite op shop up in Austinville. And as you know, it's one of my favourite places in the world. Um, because I always get my bags of jewellery there. Well, I've gone in this morning and I've said, Hi, is Nola in? No, I'm sorry. This is where you're going to cry. Nola doesn't work here anymore. She has retired. And I'm like, are you really? Are you serious? That was the worst news I could have had because you know guys I get such beautiful pieces of jewelry most times and now I don't. Anyway, I said, Oh, that's a shame I usually get, you know, jewelry off her, blah blah. And as I was leaving, she's at the table, she says, I'm gonna just chuck these in the bin. Okay? Just chuck these in the bin. I go, oh, I'll take them. That's the sort of stuff I'm after when I'm doing my upcycling and blah blah blah. Now all it is is a piece of junky jewelry which I will put into something else. That's all it is. Just that's nothing. It's just a piece of junk. But I can add that to some of my creations when I get my my house. My sewing in my craft area is sorted. But there was this really cute Matilda little locket, and inside was two people's photos. So I grabbed it anyway. Um because I thought I could really do that, put something else on there. But I said, oh, that's the sort of stuff I'm happy to get. And um, as I was leaving, she said, look, I'll put all that stuff together for you and you can get it every time you come. So whether I get it for 50 cents and whether I get any good stuff out of it, I don't know. But that's my sad story. I'm no longer going to get all that special jewellery that I used to get. Anyway, she did say to me, she says, look, I'll put some stuff upstairs. You can go and have a look. It's quite cheap. So I went upstairs and I got <laughs> two pieces of jewellery. 50 cents and I, there was a whole thing of it but I knew this was vintage it's the 1970s um it's little stones it's little agate stones right through the whole thing and I could tell it was just by the style of it and also as soon as you see the clasp you know it's something from this around the 60s or 70s like old clasps like that right so I knew it was so for 50 cents I grabbed that one and right next to it was a couple of chain necklaces and I picked this one up and not having my, you know, being half blind, but I can still see some. I saw a little tiny stamp right in there. And of course, it turns out it's a 925 piece of, a ch 925 chain. So sterling silver chain for 50 cents as well. So that was good. But at the back, I also did get a little elephant. I've got a car one. You guys have seen it in the past if you watched me. It's an elephant little money box. She had no clue what it was or how to open it, but you open it like that. And I just thought it was adorable and it's going to stay in the house because it's a great little money money keeper. And some vans. And I only paid, oh, for the downstairs stuff, $5. And there was something else in there too. I think it was this and this and those two pieces of jewellery. I think it might have been all, might have been one other thing. I don't know, but I paid $5 for it anyway. So that was good. And then I went upstairs because there's two little separate rooms and I got those two for an extra dollar. I think it was a dollar there was something else there too <laughs> i don't know but anyway super cheap was it a dollar each i don't know but it was really cheap so anyway i got that so that's my sad story really sad story um because i was looking forward to it because i haven't been there for a few weeks and thinking oh she'll have a couple of bags for me uh, anyway when i get to the house i'll be a good uh, way closer than where i am at the moment so then I decided we went to then after that we went to the another a skate park that he hadn't been to before and he lasted five minutes. And then we went to Ballina and I went to the tip shop. And I've got stuff to show you in the back. I'll do that in a minute, but I'll show you the rest of the stuff about. So I went to the tip shop and I got something which I'll show you in a minute. Um because I can't have it on my knee. <laughs> and uh I then I thought then we went to the then we went went we had a kebab because I haven't had one for ages and I'm still full. I'll be full till tomorrow. And then we went to the dentist and that's going to be a pretty penny, a very pretty penny. But yeah, that's another story for another day. But he's getting braces starting on the 5th. Bottom braces, then the plate upstairs and the spaces and then six months time he gets the top braces on. So it's going to be a bit of a process of lasting two years and a lot of money. And I'm going to sell a lot of stuff in that time to pay for it all because my, I really believe in having good teeth because I didn't have nice straight teeth. I still don't have nice straight teeth. My teeth are wonky, always have been, even after I had braces on at 47. And I really like to see cute people. I love people's smiles and their teeth. So I do notice that. Anyway, 
I decided to go to Salvo, sorry, to Vinnie's after that. I never go to Salvo's in Ballina because they turned into a boutique. Um, so I went to, to Vinnie's in Ballina and I looked at the jewellery because I have really found some nice jewellery there in the past. And I picked up this one. Now, the only reason I picked it up, because it reminds me of a gold one that I've got at home. Gold, But the one I've got at home is, I think it's a Barks one, B-A-R-C-S. If you ever see any B-A-R-C-S jewellery, um, grab them because they're worth money. But... Um, I noticed the clasp was an older clasp. It was one of those ones. The lighting is terrible. I'm sorry. The um, it's one of those pull-out type clasps. So I knew it was an older. Where are you? Older clasp like that, right? So I grabbed it. So I thought that was pretty funky. Cannot find one mark on it, and I'm starting to wonder. It did barks. B a r c, b a b a r c s. Um have any unstamped jewelry but that's what it reminded me and that's why I grabbed it but there's definitely no marks I can see but it's a very funky little piece of jewelry silver tone jewelry I thought it was really nice for that reason yeah you know you can see it they also had this which was something I keep saying we're not going to get any more of because I've got a whole box of them in the shed that I have to go through eventually and count most of the pieces but it was Dinotopia and it was $3 and I had to get it for the fact that it's Dinotopia. Like my kids grew up in Dinotopia, my own kids, not the grandkids. Um, and I know these can go for decent money. Anything that's got Dinotopia on it. And I'm pretty sure in my story shed up north, I've got a few of the books. But the Dinotopia uh, stuff goes for decent money. So keep an eye out for that as well. Now we're going to go over the back. I'm going to turn you off for a second and I shall see you in a minute. Okay, so here it is. This here, this is, that. this is all at the tip shop. Now, I'd already picked up a couple of things which I'll show in a second, but in the back of the shop, they had this huge box full, a whole box is full of these. Now, I know they're the older ones and all the rest of it, and I'm going to have to stamp them to make sure they know they're mine, but it's a whole box of them. These are going to be so easy now for me to just whack it. Or any, any books or, or anything small that I sell, I now don't have to go and buy any packaging. Um, because it's all here like it's a huge big box of it like that and then they had well, I think they're the bigger ones so they had bigger ones there as well and then they had all these big bags these big white they had another whole heap more of them but I thought oh I better stop but they have all these there as well so I'll be able to put some of those items that I usually wrap um, garbage bags into it so yeah I've got the whole lot for 20 bucks and I was pretty stoked about that because that's going to be awesome in my room these ones have got a bit of shredding on it I think they were the ones that's sitting at the very back that he pulled out but I can still reuse that for, use that for the padding anyway but I also got a hat and this awesome leather bag which I haven't even investigated yet so I'm not going to investigate that with you guys in a second but these hats I've got one at home they're just really floppy um, but I've got a whole lot for 30 so probably 20 so 20 he said 20 for that but I've added some more so yeah 22 and then the rest eight dollars for the other two items so Let's go back to the car. It's pretty windy here today. Go back into the car and oh, I'll show you the <laughs> right up my face. Sorry, um, I'll show you the bag. Okay, so it's a leather bag. So the other one's a leather hat. It's a leather bag. It was sitting up there, and I, was, I didn't even look at the label. Oh, it's a Colorado. Okay, so it's not nothing super super fancy, but it's a lovely leather bag. And it's still got the nice, I just love leather. Um, so that's two leather, there's three leather things in two in two days. Remember I got the, that Buffalo Girl wallet yesterday? And I got this today. So yeah, I'm happy with that. This will this will go on to sell. Leather always does sell well. So that's my day. That's what I've done. I hope you enjoyed that little quick video. I thought I'd just jump on um, and show you the things I got. Tomorrow I head back to uh, Grafton to pick up a child who may be getting his bike back. I don't know if I mentioned that, but he might be getting his bike back. I think yesterday I was saying we're going to keep looking for it, but today is someone, yeah. Long story, granddaughter's boyfriend's mother went there and talked to some people, and they got a name, and the name of the person, um, my son's friends, lives downstairs from the uncle of the person of the name. <laughs> And I spoke to the parents last night and was mostly getting the cut bike today. I will let you know tomorrow if I find anything exciting, I'll show you. And I've got some jewellery coming soon. So definitely going to show you that soon. So thank you, everybody. And thank you for those who have subscribed and who watched and who liked. Don't forget to hit the like button. Um, I'm one off 
800. It's taken me two, nearly two years. No, it has been two years or more than two years getting to that. So thank you everybody and thank you for those who are jumping onto the groups. Nellie's, Nellie sells everything and brooch queens and the rusty crown is the page. Um, thank you for all that. Now, before I do go, I just remembered, because oh, I'm driving, I'm thinking of all these thoughts. I need to have one of those little um, microphone, what do they call a tape deck, so I can write my thoughts down because I always forget to, what I was going to say or do by the time I get to the other end. <sighs> okay. I want your advice. Now, I know there's not everybody watches this video. I know there's 800, nearly 800 people here, but I know only a select few special people watch it. But I want to know, what do you think? Should I change the name of this channel so it encompass everything, encompasses everything, right? Or start a new channel? That's two. Or should I keep this channel going as it is and just leave it for treasure hunting, all sorts of stuff, and my sales and, and metal detecting? Or, again, should I change it and just have everything here? Or should I have the second channel as um, just my life like this is all my life like you see my life so should I put it all under this umbrella and just keep this channel going and save me mucking around with another channel I don't know I was gonna I wanted to do another channel because I wanted to see how fast it would take me to get to where I was want to go but I've already done so much of the work here and if I was to change the name of this channel I was thinking boomer days or Nelly B's boomer days or I don't know I don't know I don't know so if you've got any ideas, can you please pop it down, pop it down below? Because, you know, Nellie B is great. I could do that because that's a great advice that someone gave me because I can do lots of stuff. But I also think, you know, boomer days would be nice or I don't know. <laughs> I'm still struggling with that. But let me know. Should I keep this channel as it is, as it is right now and start another channel for my um, creating and my renovating and all that sort of stuff because you've got to remember in the house I'm moving into I'm going to be metal detecting that house as well so do I bring that metal detecting to this channel or do I bring that metal detecting to that channel I don't know or should I have it all in one channel and I would love you I love your opinion because if I do have it all under here in this channel I really think the name needs to change okay because I need to be doing everything in this channel now I'm going to go hope you understood all that waffling but yeah, I'm going to go. I'll talk to you all soon, guys. Thanks for watching. Bye.